it's a mess. We're cleaning and rearranging. Of course, we got all this going on. <laughs> Heaters are going in the background. But I'll show you a trick. Oh, by the way, there's the metal I'm going to be using to fix the body panels on the S10. So we'll be recycling all that stuff. But I wanted to show you the trick. I'm trying to get this metal to not be so flimsy. I'm going to find a piece real quick. Okay. So we're going to. So as you can see, this metal is like really flimsy. Of course you get a big sheet like that like we're really making this, the floorboards out of and that's going to be really exaggerated. So I did this trick once a long time ago. Take the spark plug socket. This is a big 13 16 So it's got a, uh, I think it's a 7 8 Yeah, it's a 7 8 on the end of it that together so what I did it's been a while since I've done this you take socket on this side remember where that fit in you put that on that side and put it in the vise I probably should move it over here where you can see it let me get it in here real quick get it lined up Snug it down. Maybe you get over here. You can definitely see more of my mess. <laughs> this down a little bit. And then you take it, you just squeeze your vice down a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. And one more little. Oops. As you can see, it flexed that metal a little bit. I may have actually went too far with that one. And then, see? Get a nice little dimple. And making the metal stronger. You put three or four of those guys in there. It'll stiffen this thing up where it's not so flippy and floppity because I don't have a bead roller. Um, I don't have a press. Well, I do have a press. It's just not here. It's at my brother's shop. So, just do that. <clears throat> Loosen it back up. Take it out. Got a nice little dimple. I mean, that metal is, is really getting good and stiff now. And I think you can even do it with a hammer. your metal on there, get your socket lined up, grab the hammer, give it a whack, look at that, little dimples, so you could go over that panel, do this a couple, three, four times, that was one whack, so it's about half of it, get it lined back up, You got all these nice little dimples, and the panel's got strength. So, I mean, where those are at, it's you can't even move it. You can do this with a press. Um, like I said, but it's easier to do it with a vise or a hammer. The vise seems to be better. But yeah, that one went all wonky, crooked. I'm going to see how far I can push this thing. You could probably do this with a bolt, too. I'm going to try and find a bolt. I'm almost wondering. JJP. see the, the panel distorted a little bit but just 
take a hammer. And take a hammer, flatten it back out. It's got a little, little warp to it. I've got a, got a better anvil than that. But you make some nice little dimples with just two sockets. Let's see if I can find a bolt. I'll try a bolt real quick. Okay, I'll grab a couple different things I want to try. Let's see if you guys can see this well. Another, I don't know where these came from. They're like cutoffs from something. I got a whole pile of them in there. Alright. So, I got a bolt. I got a socket that fits the bolt. Let's see how that works. If my vice will go out wide enough. That. Just tighten down. A little center. Do some pushing. <laughs> My vice really needs bolted down proper. Okay, let's see what that did. Huh? Same thing. Made a little dimple. It's just simple stuff. Got a piece of pipe. I want to use that. I don't think it'll fit. Yeah, that socket doesn't fit very well. This one's pretty good. Piece of pipe. Socket. Metal. I'll get my fingers in there. push same thing dimple so here's a, a like a lug nut like a racing lug nut so the stuff can come through the end put that in this socket do it both ways and then these are coming out different sizes too that's not lined up push. There you go. That actually is a really nice dimple. My wonder is if I can push these through and actually make like a dimple die push. I don't know if I got enough oomph to do it, but I guess if you ground that down really sharp it would probably do it. So I'm just trying to find ways to get the, you know, not have those panels so floppy and noisy and stuff. But I'm also looking for ways that we don't have to spend money. Yeah, I don't have enough. The metal's flexing really bad too. And I put a heck of a dimple in it. <laughs> Big time. So, but one nice thing is metal always wants to go back to its original shape. Just work it down. The hammer. Actually, both of these are too big. But, I mean, that's where those are. It's pretty, I mean, pretty damn stiff. So, just one of my little, let's see. My little metal working tips for the day. Not that it's anything crazy, crazy, but I'll tell you, I'm I'm grateful to have what I have. Um, I don't really like spending money. I don't really have a lot of money to spend nowadays because everything is expensive. So I try and use my noodle and remember old tricks that guys showed me. Um, I made some other tools. I was going to try, um, I'm going to show you one of them here in just a second, another metalworking tool, and I think it's going to 